Hi, welcome back to third video of chapter two. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today, I'm going to discuss about characteristics of entrepreneurship. First one, systematic activity, innovation, lawful and purposeful activity, and ability to take risk. Previous class, I explained about the identifying local talents in markets, choosing the right location, tying up with the institutions, developing the entrepreneurship program as needed, analyzes the result for future development, Uh, now let us discuss one by one systematic activity what is a systematic activity Entrepreneurship is a systematic activity. It follows a step-by-step -step approach and has certain skilled knowledge and uh, competency related requirement which can be acquired, learned and developed through form of vocational training. Process of training shows that entrepreneurs are not bored whether they are mentors. Why it is systematic activity is important? You know, if you have to achieve the goal, right? So you must approach the step by step, follow the step by steps, and, the, and for this, there is a certain skills you require also and knowledge and competency into requirements. And it can be acquired and learned and developed through the formal vocational training. This is very uh, helpful when I talk about the systematic activity, which helps you to gain a certain skill, knowledge, competency requirement, which can be acquired, learned and developed. Next one is innovation. Innovation you must have innovative idea to just survive in a market or just produce your business. This is a very important in the world where you, everything is growing and moving at such a fast pace. Innovation is the buzzword. Innovations basically means discover, generating new ideas for establishing business and acquire generous profit. When you see the, you know, when you are just going to see the product of the different organizations, why it is required to just change the plan according to the requirement of the new uh, new resource and development is also, this is the part of the business it is going, show that you uh, competency can be maintained in the market. Only then you can survive. So innovation is also important part there. You know, basically can be going to discover, getting new ideas for the establishing business and while send us well, so it can also be in the form of process that is doing the same work more efficiently in less time. So it does not mean you are just going to use the same uh, method which 
you were used uh, 10 years or 20 years back. So if you see there's a use of the technology in the, it also gives the it's time savings, you can see. It uh, helps you to uh, your business. And uh, even if, if you are the different uh, ERP, you can see the okay, different types of the software. It help you to just keep your, you can collect information within a few seconds. So innovations, if you are just talking about the product, even if the, in terms of the business, uh, you know, it helps you grow your business and uh, you can get the information quickly. Okay. So work more efficiently, less time. You can do the same work, definitely. You. Innovation plays a vital role. Uh, and uh, if you have just tried to keep uh, growing your business, if you want to see your business in the next level, Definitely, innovations help you to grow your business. Now, next important point that and the example of the process uh, related innovation is use of machinery, which has replaced manual labor from, from industries and has also increased production while also reducing the overall cost of metals. Even you see your business. Uh, it saves your time when you use the process related innovations. If you are the machinery, if you use, uh, definitely reduce the time a machine even can work for, uh, you know, if it reduce the manpower, you can cost cutting if you say, or uh, you are going to uh, manufacture more than the existing one. So innovations help you to grow your business and uh, you see the demand of the time. So lawful and purposeful activity. Enterprise is a lawful and purposeful activity. So establishing a new venture involves permissions from certain authority and rules and regulations also need to be followed. The establishment of a new venture is done with the purpose of party profit and making money out of it. You know, when you are going to set up the business, you must follow the rules and uh, regulations of the company act if it is a matter of the safety if it's a matter of the environmental pollutions or must fulfill the if it is a matter of the employees security so all these uh also if you keep in mind when you are going to set up a business uh, Next one is a very important ability to take risk. Without the risk, you will not grow. It is a fact. You, know, you want to grow your business. And this is the very important part. So the first and primary trait of the entrepreneurship. You know, any business needs continuous supply and input for the product. Right? And the entrepreneurs task is of being being of whether or not the ventures. So you can understand this is the basic ability to take risk and uh, this is the primary traits of the business and uh, risk involved in the every business. So if you are not sure even what you are going to produce, you will get profit or it will get more profit. You are not sure. You know, so continue supply of input for the project. Take risk of paying them off whether or not the venture succeeds. Yes. So I hope it is clear point which I explained. Thanks for watching the video.